Hey everybody, Milik here. Today I wanted to show you one of my favorite strategy games of the 90s. And uh, it wasn't really well recognized one. It's called Knights and Merchants. Basically, it's very similar to The Settlers. It was released in 1998 uh, by Topor Interactive. They also made um, Earth 2140 and Two Worlds lately. Anyway, um, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this is in fact a remake of the game. It looks exactly the same, but it has been made to fit widescreen uh, monitors. Uh, so you can set full HD resolution. They also added scrolling so you can zoom in and out, which wasn't available before. And uh, basically it works on Windows 7, Windows 8. So that's that's really great. But the really awesome thing about it is it basically still pretty much feels fresh, even though it's a 1998 game. It still looks really cool. And uh, yeah. All right, anyway, this is the first mission. Uh, I just defeated a couple of enemy soldiers that, as you can see, destroyed a few of my buildings. So it's time to rebuild. So, first off, we've got a weaponsmith here, I mean weapon, weapon workshop. So let's have a look at what sort of weapons we have. So we've got 9 bows, 20 leather armor. That means we can make additional 11 bows and have a 20 strong uh, team of bowmen. Right, we've got some watchtowers here, um, a bit of an army here which we'll use in a moment, but first off I want to get some industry going. So let's start with making a farm. If we make it somewhere around here, now we can create a road here. And along the way, now we can add mill here that will have supplies delivered from the farm nearby. And a bakery over here that will get the flour from the mill. Um, I suppose we can make this road a bit thicker as well as this one to help with deliveries. Given the fact it's the first mission, We've got a lot of stone uh, straight away, so it may not even be <coughs> necessary to actually build a quarry. If it were, we would put it over here to have swift access to the stone. But so far, I think I can actually win it without having to build it. Right, so we've got the food growing here, I mean will be growing in a moment. So let's create a field. Should be enough. I suppose we can add some more here. Right, let's have a look at those bows. Two more. Okay, what I want to do <coughs> is to actually use these uh, use this army and attack before their condition deteriorates too much and I have to feed them um, basically I don't want to use up any of uh, not too much food that I actually have I only seem to have some wine and a little bread um, the good thing about actually feeding the army is that they can be fed with, say, wine and it restores their condition to the maximum level, while any other worker, like over here, they have to go to the inn and normally, if I had everything, they would eat everything to restore it to the maximum level. If I only had wine, they would pretty much only be restored to the similar level the guy is right now. Anyway, the good thing about 
it being a remake is that they added a speed up button there only used to be like tw twice the speed um, in the original game which basically meant that you would play uh, a couple of hours just to finish a single mission right what else do we have it's been a while since I played it so I may be it might be useful to actually get a wine yard vineyard sorry wine yard and uh, get some get some more wine to help with the general food production uh, so that's this one there we go maybe a bit smaller there we go right now we're gonna need a farmer and two bakers so let's go to school recruit them just so we don't have to worry about it later okay I can see another bow being created right we should be able to attack soon enough um, since it's the first mission I pretty much only have the basic unit here militia and I have axe fighter which is a pretty much the same guy as militia but has the leather armor and a shield so a bit more resistant um, what I'll do, I'll reinforcement with the with the archers, and we should be ready to attack. What else could I possibly create? Would be yeah, a good new a good thing would be to actually create a sawmill somewhere around here, so it gets the wood because we don't really have all that much of it. Yeah, only. 12 and 12 which means it's time to actually get rid of this for the time being because um, wine actually needs I mean grapes actually need like you can see here from the icon they need the piece of wood to create a piece of field the normal field they just they just dig up and and that's pretty much it and then a guy goes out and does his thing right how we okay now we can right I will need 20 recruits how we're on gold all right the good thing about the early missions is that you pretty much have all the gold you you might need so you don't have to worry about building all the mines all the metal workers and stuff like that to actually create money to recruit uh, more units <coughs> right it seems as though we have pretty much everything else so let's speed the game up a little bit let's have a look at the alright they're not in all that great of a condition but we should be able to still get them ah crap alright they're already hungry but they will still be able to survive a couple of minutes at least by which time I should have my archer contingent ready and uh, yeah okay so we're gonna need another carpenter for a sawmill but for the time being we need the recruits a bit more all right how are we doing nine how are we doing here ah oh, crap I think I may actually have to attack with them before I'll be able to create this all right, let's let's create 14 archers, and the rest we'll just add when they appear. All right, one more. We've got 15. How I 
Okay, that's still somewhat. All right, there's an army here. Let's spread our guys a bit more. Move them to the side. So they're facing the enemy. And our archers are coming. Okay, two more. Yeah, this this will be should be fine. What I really like about this game that is that basically everything has its own animation. You can see the guy making dough here. This one just sits there waiting for crop to grow. This one's carrying the flower. It's all very well cute, let's say. Alright. Let's move the archers in the right direction. Because if they basically you pretty much have to set everything yourself. Otherwise, if they're just like they they won't turn on their own. They're just stand there and wait. Okay. We've got all the archers ready. So we can attack. I can see they have archers themselves. We can see this guy is having a appear uh, a, a skull appeared over his head. So he's really close to death due to well, hunger. But he will die soon enough just from the fighting, so it's fine. Alright, more army is coming, so we should stop our guys. And they can shoot some more. Very nice. Alright, now we can create that carpenter we needed. And uh, what else do we need? Another farmer. There we go. The good thing about, well, the somewhat funny thing about this game is that there's only like four direct, well, only like a couple of directions that they can be facing. So the enemy can have same problems as you. Like you can see here, the archers in most other games would start attacking me by now, but since they had like a designated spot, they just kept going and uh, met my axemen. So that didn't work all that well for them. Okay, I think there may actually be another place on the other side. So I'll try to move these guys over there quickly before they, well, die. Alright, let's try to make some more of that grape field. All right, they started dying. That's not really good. Okay, yeah, I can see. I can see the other army. Let's turn our archers. Come on. There we go. So the key, basically, as you probably noticed by now, is to have your melee units engage the enemy in fighting and archers basically kill them from distance. This being said, the game has been um, changed compared to the original and uh, archers and crossbowmen aren't, aren't, crossbowmen aren't as powerful as they used to be. So a few missions are extremely hard to finish uh, especially missions that basically you have a set amount of units and don't create anymore but other than that it still pretty much is 
the same game it used to be and happily it works on Windows 7 so I can play it just like I did 15 years ago all right I think this blue guy only had this this part here that means okay let's let's send these guys over here to see what's in there and we'll use these uh, the archers to destroy their inn and storehouse it takes a while longer for the archers to actually do it compared to any sort of melee unit actually we can create some more hand axes if we ever needed some extra any extra units all right oh yep yeah, there's another there's another tiny army here that means there's probably another um, village over here and that is not a good thing because I was hoping to be able to destroy them with just the units I had that means I'm gonna have to create some more melee units so they can protect my archers as you can see the yellow guy is rebuilding his army as well all right so what do we have we've got three axes well that's not nearly enough with the amount of archers if we can make them swiftly enough I think about 10 should be enough and the archers should be able to kill um, the rest of the enemies while the melee units just keep them engaged so let's create a few more recruits we've got a archer contingent they informed here which we can dispose of without having to worry about any melee units probably let me just save the game just in case and let's see how we're doing over here six all right by the time we get the amount of recruits needed we should have the access ready as well there we go okay that's done now what I'll do I'll try to attack these two axemen over there I think a third one is actually coming because they moved around um, if everything works out my archer should be able to kill them before they get to me hopefully as you can see uh, damn it all right didn't work as you can see it's much harder for um, any sort of archer or crossbowman to actually handle um, any melee units without any sort of <clears throat> protection from melee units of their own but I'll try to attack them faster now so that there's only two of them before the third one comes let's hope this works there we go and we managed to kill their archer as well very nice okay that went well that means I can save the game just in case before 
another melee unit comes and I'll be able to start attacking their um, the warehouse and and school and in basically if you destroy the warehouse they have no way of storing equipment if you destroy their inn they won't be able to feed anyone and within maybe half an hour everyone should be dead from starvation so that is if you only have a few units if you can manage to actually get to it and destroy it before enemies get to you uh, it's a very effective way of dealing with bigger armies especially later on okay how are we doing here we've got eight and eight that's fine all right by the time these guys finish ah crap okay managed to kill him only lost one or two so I'll just continue here but monitor it more carefully myself okay how many recruits 12 and 10 axis there we go one's down now let's destroy this come on come on come on come on damn it all right load the game eight nine okay right a few small steps there we go there's an there's a unit coming if you leave your archers just to stand there they will basically attack anyone any enemy that moves towards them but if you tell them to attack a certain object they will and it won't matter that they are in fact being attacked by an enemy so it's important to monitor um, what is happening all right we've got 12 let's make these guys and set them over here so we'll be able to attack the blue army in a few minutes once I dispose of this part okay let's take a few more steps to see if there's any other building that I might need to destroy now that's pretty much it alright so this part doesn't really matter I think I, in the end I may need to destroy this part this uh, maybe possibly these two buildings as well but for the time being it's fine and I want to use my units before they starve just like the part of the melee army I had in the beginning okay move the there we go just as soon as both melee units if if any unit uh, starts attacking any melee unit starts attacking the entire contingent will be engaged just because that's how the game mechanic works so just as long as you've got a few guys uh, strategically 
positioned you can sort of command the battlefield much more easily than you would basically the rest of the the rest of the given army will start approaching huh there's nothing here okay I think it's just the yellow part all right okay let's send the melee units to destroy the military barracks and my archers will destroy the school and we should be done in a couple of seconds hmm. as you can see a few melee units actually have much better damage against there we go done against buildings I was gonna say than archers alright so done and again the game is called Knights and Merchants Remake and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys later